Ladies and gentlemen, here we are live in another great edition of Radical Rockin' Record Reviews with me, none other than Wild Ride bassist Mick Watkins. And here we are, guys, today, Sunday. And I, man, I tell you what, this weekend was a great haul. I'm telling you what, Saturday morning, yesterday morning, was the October edition of Record Store Day. And I'm telling you what, I had one mission, one goal, one mission, one item that I really had to have. Something that's eluded my vinyl collection for years, guys. It has eluded me for years. That one piece of the puzzle, that one piece of the Ace Fraley vinyl collection puzzle that I needed. And guess what? I scored. I got it. Only 2,400 of these were actually pressed. And I got a copy. And I got a copy. And also today, was the Derby City Music Expo here in Louisville, Kentucky. And I scored at that too. Great scores this weekend, guys. It's been a weekend full of records, CDs, music, and more, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a great weekend. And I was wanting to share with you guys, right here for you guys to see, a live unboxing. Here it is, of the limited edition 2400 pressing. E1 exclusive version of one of my favorite releases by my number one favorite guitar player of all time. We're talking about former KISS member Ace Frehley. And this this is just freaking beautiful. Freaking beautiful. I'm so glad to have this in the collection. It's the only Ace album that I did not have on vinyl. And I finally got it now. We're talking about Ace Frehley's, one of his best solo releases in my opinion. Wild Ride bassist Mick Watkins, otherwise known as Dick Watkins, one of his best solo albums. We're talking about 1989's Epic Trouble Walking. Look at that, guys. I got it. I fucking scored. I got it. Let me tell you the cool story. Getting this, getting this Trouble Walking record was quite an adventure. Let's flash forward back to Friday night, okay? Got off work. Um, my best bud. Jelly D, John Bon Joey, Joseph Barnes, he texts me and he said, hey dude, I think we need to watch Bill and Ted face the music. And I was like, sounds good dude. So um, Friday night after work, went over to his house, watched Bill and Ted face the music, the first Bill and Ted movie since Bogus Journey in 1991. I'm telling you what, man, it was a good movie. Really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Kick-ass movie. I would suggest you watch it. I don't want to give any spoilers. I don't even want to really review it right now because it's fresh. I've only seen it one time. But guys, I would totally suggest going and seeing, if you can, see it in the movie theater or if you have to, stream it at home. But check out Bill and Ted Face the Music. Anyway, that night we watched Bill and Ted Face the Music. Then I got home, got in bed probably about 1.30. 1.30. My phone alarm goes off at 5.30 to get up. So I got up out of bed, took a hot shower, and got in my car, and drove probably about 25 minutes away from my house to one of the best um, stores, one of the best record stores here in Louisville, known as Better Days Records. Better Days Records. And you know, here I am sitting here cruising 6 a.m. in the morning. I'm sitting there thinking, I'm like, you know what? This is perfect. I'm gonna be the first one in line to get this. I'm gonna get trouble walking, and it's gonna be amazing. So I get there, the streets are dead, completely dead. Nobody's out. I pull up to the store. There's people waiting in line, sitting in chairs. I was like, shit. I blew it. Mick, you blew it. You're not going to get your um, Ace Frehley record. You're not going to get it. You blew it, dude. You blew it. Let me get a quick swig of my water. Hang on. Ah. But anyway, I parked. I was the 10th guy in line. 10th guy in line, and the goal was, was to get this bad boy right here. So we're sitting in line, I got there about 6.15 a.m. and the store did not open until 8 a.m. So I sat there with some of the dudes in line, we talked about music, we talked about bands and stuff. And as we're sitting there, all of a sudden out of an alley, out of the darkness comes this guy. The only way to describe him would be like a meth head Jesus or something. And he comes up to us, this dude has no shirt on, some grimy ass looking old jeans, and he comes up, let me take my Psycho Circus uh, 3D shades off, 
And he comes up, this cracked everybody up, and he comes up to us and he goes, ah, ah, yes. ah, ah. <laughs> He was fucking hissing like a snake and just trying to freak everybody out. And it did freak us out, believe me. So you had the meth head Jesus. We survived the we survived that, the meth head Jesus invasion. And finally, finally, about 750, the owner of Better Days Records comes outside and he tells everybody, he's like, tell me what you want. Alright? Tell me what you um, are wanting and we'll see if we have it. So he goes down the line. I was the tenth guy in line. And then finally, he goes, all right, man, what do you want? And I said, I'm here for the Ace Frehley uh, trouble walking. And then he said, man, we got only two of them in. We only got two of them in. And he said, that dude up there in front of you, he asked for one of them. So nonetheless, I got it, guys. Only two copies ordered at the store, and I got it. And I have a feeling that if I, like, would have been one minute, a couple minutes later, five minutes later, what I was, I wouldn't have scored it. But anyway, guys, I got it. I signed for it. I told him, give me that ace record right there. And the owner of the store was cool enough to hold it for me until I got into the store because they were only allowed five uh, five in at a time for the COVID nonsense and all that. So, guys, here it is. Let's do it, man. Finally got it. The one missing piece of the Ace Frehley vinyl collection. 1989's Trouble Walking. Let's open it up. I'm going to give you guys... I haven't seen it. I've been holding on to this. I've been holding it until, you know, us, me and you, can hang out and enjoy this moment together. You're going to see a live unboxing of this limited pressing. Like I said, I'm a huge Ace Frehley fan. If you couldn't tell behind me, and if you could actually see the whole scope of the room I'm in, I'm a huge Kiss fan. I haven't talked about them yet on this channel, but Kiss is my number one favorite band. And Ace Frehley is my all-time favorite guitar player. So here you go, here you go, guys. I've been waiting years, you know, and for years I've looked on eBay, Discogs, and dude, if you really want this album on, on vinyl, you would have to pay 150 bucks for original copy. I can't afford that shit, and I'm not gonna do it. So held out long enough, and E1 Entertainment, thank God, released this limited edition for record store only. Check that out. There's the there's the hype sticker. So guys, let's open this up. Let's see what it's all about. Ace Frehley Trouble Walk and going down the hatch. And here's the little secret that I have. In order to open up vinyl the best way, I always use guitar picks. Check it out. So, you know, you take the guitar pick, take it down the kind of the slit on the side, you rub it in the slit. I'm sure some of you guys are good at that. So anyway, guys, Ace Frehley Trouble Walk and guitar pick, let's rub it down the slit. So here you go, look. You gotta penetrate the slit without doing any damage. There you go, ooh, rub it down the side, rub it. Penetrate that slit, that's right, that's right. There we go. And then here, are you, are you ready guys? Let's see what it's like. We're gonna take off the shrink wrap. Ooh, look at that, peeling it back, look at that. Oh man. I might take the hype sticker off, this, um, off the plastic, put on the dust sleeve or something. Check it out there. There it is. Bam. Check it out, guys. Front, there's Ace with some cool, like, little puppet-looking dudes of himself. They're having trouble walking. They are trouble walking. There's the track listing right there. There's the track listing. Shot full of rock. Do ya. Five-card stud. Hide your heart. Lost in limbo. Trouble walking. Too young to die. Sang by Richie Scarlet. Back to school. Back to school. We're going back. Back to school. Back to school, remember me, and my favorite all-time Ace Frehley instrumental track, Fractured 3. So let's check it out. Man, I love this album. So I know that this is a orange and yellow exclusive uh, like colored vinyl. So let's check it out first. Yeah, there you go. There's the sleeve. We're putting the jacket down for a second. You pull it out, you see that. The awesome Ace Frehley logo. I think probably Ace's coolest looking solo logo. It kind of has that fiery yellow and orange hue of like the Destroyer Kiss logo. Got the cool trouble walking. I wonder if that's in Ace's actual Curse of Writing. I don't know. So you have that. You turn it around. 
There's the lyric book, and let's check it out. This is on two records, two records set at 45 RPM, which I think will help the sound quality out a whole lot, which is kind of weird for a 12-inch vinyl, though. Let's check it out. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Together, we're seeing this for the first time. It's going to be amazing, guys. Oh. 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 Oh my lord, with these, 3D, with these 3D glasses on, this looks amazing. Wow, check it out. Side one, look at that. That is freaking beautiful, dude. This is honestly probably one of the coolest colored pieces of vinyl in my collection. And of course, it's got to be my man Ace. Check that out, dude. Wow. Love it. Love it. Can't wait to, man, to put this on the turntable and give it a spin, man. I can get the damn jacket open. Hang on. There we go. So there's that one. There's disc one, side A and B. And then, man, I'm so pleased with this. I'm so happy. I was scared to death. I was freaking out thinking that I would not score me a copy. And then I have to go on eBay and probably pay like double the price. So here we go. Side number uh, C and D on the second record. Look at that. Same logo, the same cool Ace logo, Trouble Walking. And on the other side, you have the collage. Look at that. You have the collage that was in the CD version that I've had for years. There's a picture of, look at that. You get what I mean, turn around. You got pictures of like Ace, Peter Chris, John Regan on Bay Awesome Bass Player that was in Fraley's Comet. There's Eddie Kramer, Ace, Richie Scarlett, uh, Peter Chris and John Regan, Ace and Richie Scarlett. Just cool, man. I love this era of Ace. Ace was really on fire and just really street and really hard rock, kicking ass in the late 80s, early 90s. There you go. Are you guys ready for this? Let's flip around. Here's record number two. Oh, 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 look at that, man. Check it out. Side three, it's not C, it's side three. Look at that, man. Beautiful, dude. This might be the crowning Piece, the crowning product of my record collection. Look at that, dude. Just, man. Beautiful. Beautiful. So there it is, guys. We did it live together. The unboxing of the limited edition Ace Fraley Trouble Walking vinyl reissue in yellow and orange. Beautiful, luscious vinyl. Thank you to E1. E1 for finally releasing this. And E1 does such a great job since they've signed Ace with vinyl releases in a true KISS spirit, man. Having the cool posters and all kinds of cool stuff. This right here, guys, hopefully everybody out there, all my friends on Facebook, all my friends on here, hopefully everybody that wanted one scored a copy because I am 100% just in love with this. I'm so fucking happy that I got this, guys. Hope you guys scored one. If not, check around Discogs. Check around on eBay. Because sadly, right now, that's going to be your only choice. But here it is. The 2020 reissue of 1989's classic. One of the best things that Ace Frehley ever did. Outside of, and I think it's better than maybe some of the stuff he did with Kiss. But Trouble Walking. Battle with desire. Better hide your heart. Because we're playing with fire. I think this version of Hide Your Heart's better than the one that Kiss did on Hot in the Shade. So there it is, guys. My record store day exclusive score. Check it out. Now let's move on to what I got today. So like I said, today in town here in Louisville, Kentucky, was the Derby City Music Expo that they have every three or four months here. And it's super cool. It's super cool. Today I scored. Check this out. For maybe a couple bucks. Just thought I'd throw this on for a bonus. Check this out. Seven-inch single. Motley Crue smoking in the boys room with the B-side of Use it, lose it Sweet name is the game of the hey I said hey, 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 hey You better use it before you lose it You better use it, don't throw it away, hey Yeah, check it out though Original 1985 pressing of Motley Crue smoking in the boys room 7-inch single I picked that up today, it was cool It was only a couple bucks I mean, can't pass that up, dude And then check this, this is a cool one Free will buy Free will party. Look at that. Judas Priest 
free will burning single, seven inch with the cool Metallian. I wonder if he's Italian. I wonder if he's the Italian Metallian. Free will burning single backed with breaking the law, breaking the law, breaking the law, breaking the law. Check out, I got another cool, only a couple bucks, couldn't pass it up. I mean, I might not ever play it, but I might fucking frame it and put it on the wall and have it for some cool art. Just to have it, dude. I love Judas Priest, as you'll see on the channel later on. I love Motley Crue, as you guys know. I've done two episodes about them. So I got that. And then, uh, yeah, I got this. Uh, couldn't pass this up either. It was really awesome. It was one of the holes that I had in my Alice Cooper vinyl collection. And honestly, one of my least favorite Alice Cooper albums. But it was cheap and in great shape, and I couldn't pass this up either. I'm talking about 1980s. Is that 1982? I think 1980. No, this would be 1981. Alice Cooper's 1981 New Wave weird-ass album. We're talking about Special Forces, and it's in great shape. This is when Alice Cooper was going through his like New Wave punk era of the early 80s, and he was all free bass and crack cocaine and doing lines of cocaine and drinking Seagram's VO and vodka. And look at him. Alice Cooper was in bad shape right there, dude. But nonetheless, good album. Like I said, one of my least favorite Alice Cooper albums, which you'll see eventually when I do an Alice Cooper ranking. But yeah, nonetheless, I scored this today. It was awesome. Can't wait to crank it. Cool pickup. And uh, another album that I'm really not that crazy about, but I got it anyway, because once again, it was a hole in my cheap trick collection. Got this for like $8. And th this is kind of hard to find because towards the end of the 80s, you know, CDs were just coming out really hot and popular and cassette tapes were popular too in the 80s and vinyl was kind of taking a back seat believe it or not and this album came out I believe in 1980 1988 yeah so I scored Cheap Tricks Lap of Luxury and you would think because this was like their big comeback after kind of having a dip in the early to mid 80s which I think those albums are way better than this personally but this album had the flame on it huge probably the biggest Cheap Tricks song that they ever had and you know most people casual fans of Cheap Trick or not even really fans would know them by The Flame but nonetheless this album's even though The Flame was such a huge hit this album's hard to find on vinyl and I saw it it's in pristine condition for being 21 years old 22 years old whatever again not an album that I really like a whole whole lot but nonetheless dude to complete my Cheap Trick vinyl uh, collection had to have it guys so there's Lap of Luxury. And this was the return of bassist, one of my favorite bass players, Tom Peterson, dude. Cool record. I like the song on it called uh, All We Need Is A Dream, Ghost Town. Cool stuff. Cheap Trip, lap, lap of Luxury, excuse me. And then the last piece of what I got today, you guys should know these guys. And if you don't, please check them out because they are local from here in Louisville, Kentucky. No, they're friends of mine known as Savage Master. And I tell you what, dude, Savage Master rules. And here's their latest album on vinyl that I got from a buddy of mine, Rick, uh, Vic. Excuse me, Vic. He runs the Facebook page called Vic's Record Den. Check it out. Uh, but anyway, I got Savage Master's latest album called Myth, Magic, and Still. And it's a dark fantasy album. And there's the lead singer. She's pretty hot. Her name's Stacy Savage. She's super cool. And this, this is just good old school modern, classic sounding heavy metal, man. New wave of traditional heavy metal. I'm telling you, if you dig bands like, you know, like to me, her voice, her voice right there, Stacy's voice, she sounds a lot like Wendy O. Williams from the Plasmatics. With, you know, they kind of got like a cool style of maybe, uh, you know, that early 80s metal, you know, there's some Iron Maiden in there, there's some Judas Priest in there, there's some Angel Witch a little bit. Now, Sirithungal, you know, there's some Sirithungal vibe in there. Maybe even the band Bitch, because she's kind of got that style of voice, if you ever heard Bitch. But yeah, check this out. Love this album. This was one of my favorite albums of 2019. This was on my list, which I had on my Facebook page, Instagram pages. But I didn't have the channel. But anyway, blah, 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 blah. So check this out, guys. Savage Master. Look these guys up, guys. Really kick-ass, old-school style heavy metal. New wave of traditional heavy metal. And you open up the cool gatefold, and look at this. It's got like a cool lyric sheet. Look at that. There's Stacy and the guys. Turn, turn this around. It's a really cool, nice, glossy lyric sheet with Stacy on there with a the cool sword, all the lyrics. And then it's got the gatefold. Check us out, dude. 
fuck yeah, dude. I mean, how could you not love that? That's in Savage Master Rules. Look up their song, uh, um, the title track on this album, Myth, Magic, and Still. They got a cool ass video. My favorite song on this, though, is probably a song called Far Beyond the Grave. Check that out, too. I mean, but once again, look at that cool uh, gatefold. And then you look at the vinyl, and this is the awesome uh, Dragon's Breath edition. Dragon's Breath vinyl. Check that out, man. Side A, exclusively on Shadow Kingdom Records. One of the hottest labels nowadays for, for like, heavy metal and hard rock, guys. Look at that. Dragon's Breath vinyl for Savage Master. There's side B. Got some great songs off The Devil's Ecstasy. The Owl, fly, Flyer in the Night, Flyer in the Night, Crystal Gazer, just look at that. Awesome stuff, guys, awesome stuff. So if you can, go online, and you know, if you like them, dude, get their, um, get their vinyl on Savage Master Bandcamp, Amazon, and pick this up. I think this is their best album. It's their latest and their best album. So Savage Master, uh, Myth, Magic, and Still. Awesome stuff, guys. So... Yeah, that's the end of the haul I had this weekend. An excellent, awesome, fun weekend. And I also last night, me and uh, my lady, my lady Samantha, and me and my best friend John Bon Joey Joseph Barnes, we went to Metallica drive-in concert, and it was awesome. And of course, Friday also. Hang on, I'll bear it back. Bear it back. Hang on. Really, this is what kicked off the killer weekend. Friday, I went and picked up SM2 on CD. And it freaking rules, dude. It's got such. Oh, man, I love it. Confusion. Because everybody knows if you watch the uh, ranking video to Metallica, you would know that I'm a huge fan of Hardwired to Self Destruct. And I love hearing those songs out on there. Confusion, Moth into Flame, Outlaw Torn is cool on here. Halo on Fire. So, really, this is what kicked off. An excellent weekend, guys. SNM too. Just so much brand new music and just awesome new tunes this weekend. With the crowning achievement being my absolute favorite piece. Man, talking about that beautiful Ace Freely Trouble Walking exclusive record store day vinyl. So you get a little Ace Freely, Metallica, Savage Master, Cheap Trick, Motley Crue, Judas Priest, Alice Cooper this week. This weekend was awesome, guys. And I just wanted to share that with you. Thanks for tuning in. I've noticed lately the, the um, subscribers have been coming in strong. The likes on the videos have been doing really good. Guys, I want to thank you all for supporting uh, this channel, Radical Rock and Record Reviews. Thank you all so much. And uh, we'll be having a, another video coming in pretty soon, guys. So I hope everybody's doing well. I don't have me a beer right now. I don't have a Little Kings. But I'll toast you with some Nestle Pure Life. So guys, cheers. Hope everybody's doing great. One more thing, check out this awesome, cool t-shirt I got. I won it on a contest on Instagram from Click Tea Shop, Ed Spagenberg and Click Tea Shop. He does these awesome t-shirts that are like kiss theme t-shirts. They don't have the members makeup or anything on them like that. It's not obvious kiss stuff, but if you're a kiss geek like I am, the references on his t-shirts are freaking awesome. And I won this shirt in a contest. Of course, if you know these dudes, they're the Wolfmen from Kiss Meets the Phantom of the Park. This crazy ass movie, which we might review eventually, but yeah, check it out, see, look. See, like, on the back, there's Gene Simmons of the VHS beating up one of these Wolfmen, and it's just, yeah, I won this on a contest from Ed Spagenberg and Click T Shop. So if you dig these shirts, man, check them out, check them out. It's Click, spelled with a K, of course, like Kiss does. K-L-I-C-K, T-T-E-E, -E dot com. Click T Shop, man. Check it out and go look at his stuff and support Ed. He's got an awesome business going on. Cool Kiss themed t shirts. Thanks, Ed. And thank you all, guys, once again. I'm going to quit rambling. Thank you all for tuning in. And, guys, we will see you next time here on Radical Rocket. Oh, yeah. Record reviews. Peace, guys. Rock and roll.